Hey guys, this is Cindy and this is going to be a video that shows you how to set up your website and you have at this point you have created your account on the Making Easy Dollars system but you haven't yet um, set up your website yet and until you set up your website your system will not be working properly for you. Um, so once you set up your account you're going to be on this home page right here and the very first thing that you're going to need to do is you're going to need to change your referral numbers in your back office so that um, your sponsor does not get paid for your efforts. Um, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go into um, this little social tab up here at the top and you're going to choose update personal info. And we're not going to worry about any of um, the personal info at the top at this point, but if you need to update your address, you need to update your email address, you need to update your Google, um, your phone number. Um, this is the page that you would also go to do that, but this is all about getting your website set up and getting your correct numbers in the back office. So what you're going to do is depending on uh, what site you are registered and, and qualified on, um, there are six different levels. So you might be on the 40, you might be on the 50, you might be on the 60, um, or you may have gotten qualified on something lower than that. Um, most are doing the 40, 50, and $60 sites because they pay out more money. Um, so what you would do to find your referral numbers is you would go over to whatever Zazz freebie site you are on. And I'm already actually already logged into mine. I'm just going to click on my homepage here. And um, you would go over to Zazz. And if you have like Zazz 40 and Zazz 20, um, you would have to log into each individual site to get your referral number. Um, the best way to do it is to just, when you're on your homepage, click your referral link for this site. And your whole referral link is going to pop up right here. And your number, my number is 10. Your number is going to be a five digit number. So you will just take that five digit number and you will update that number in MED. You would just copy it, come back over here to making easy dollars. You would update it in whatever um, section that you are in and then, or whatever site you're in and then save changes. Um, another way to find your referral number, and I'm only doing this to show you also something else, is to go to profile and when you scroll down you will see um, your referral link here as well but you also can find the email of your sponsor and you can email your sponsor directly um, if you have questions or need help with with anything with the system um, once you have set up your um, ID numbers and you have everything done you're gonna save changes and I am NOT gonna save changes at this time so I will take you to the next step of getting your website set up, which is to choose your capture page. So we're going to go over here to pages and capture pages. And I'm going to make this smaller again so that you can see um, more of the screen and move myself out of the way. OK, so now you're on the pages and you're going to choose your capture page. And de again, depending on what site you're using, whether you're using the $40 as the $50 as or the $60 as will determine which capture page you use because they are programmed for each individual level. So you want to make sure that you choose the right level. So I am going to um, choose the 40s as because that is um, the site, the level in site that I use the most. And it's going to bring up all of these different little capture pages here. And once you're on this page, you're going to just make a primary page for whatever site you're going to promote the most. And there are 17 to choose from. A lot of people um, want to use the ones with the blue background. Um, that seems to be the, um, the consensus from, for everybody. And a lot of people really like this one. Um, I use all three of these, um, but there are lots of them down here that if you have a, a better preference of something you can always choose. I have a lot of people that use this one and this one as well. So, um, you know, it's totally up to you. So when you decide which capture page you want to use, you're just going to simply click where it says make primary page. And then a box is going to pop up and it will say your primary page has been changed. And you're going to want to click the OK button because if you don't click the OK button, it will not change. I have also been told by several people that um, it says close. So if it says close, just close it. Um, so either click OK or close. And that will change your capture page, which I am not doing at the present moment. So ooh, I'm just going to click escape. Um, the next thing that I am going to show you is about your referral link and where to find your referral link. And that is going to be up here. And I'm going to move myself back out of the way over here a minute. 
That is going to be under Social and Banners. And you will see your, your referral link. And this is the link that drives your whole entire website. It sends everybody to that pretty little capture page. They go into your contacts list. The system follows up with them. And this is also the link that will go into your second email of the email series, which I will go over in my next video about where to change that. Um, but this is what um, drives your whole website and the link that you give everybody who is wanting to get more information to get signed up. Um, the next thing I'm going to show you is um, very, very important, and it's to update your photo. And to do that, you're going to go to Social and Edit Photo, which also brings you back to the personal info page. Um, the reason why you need to update your photo is very, very important. Um, you want to brand your business. You want your face to be on your business. Um, and also because if you don't update it, then my picture is going to be on your website. And that can confuse people that you're bringing into the business. If they've already seen my videos um, that are talking about the business, they will be like, oh, well, I thought I was talking to... Um, Tim or Steve or whoever, but there's this picture of the person in the video. And so, you know, that could cause them to think something different. So you're gonna make sure that you upload your photo. So to do that, you're just gonna click drop image here or click here to upload. You'll find your picture that you want to upload there. You will choose it, click open. Um, and it will update here. And then once you do that, and I'm not going to do it, once you put it in this box, you're going to click upload photo and it will upload to the website. If it happens to upload horizontally because of the way you took it on a cell phone, um, you can email and let me know and I can fix it for you so that it um, will be sitting the correct way. Um, the last little thing that I need to go over with you, which is also very important before you start advertising, is to make sure that your website is set up properly and it's going to where it's supposed to go. So to do that, what you're going to do is you're going to test out your own capture page. And um, you can do that by either going to a browser that you've never logged into MED with, or you can go into a private window. Um, so I'm going to go over to Opera. I have so many different um, <laughs> browsers on my computer. And I'm going to actually click on a new private window. And you're going to go to, and I'm going to scroll myself up just a little bit so you'll see me. Um, you'll go to makingeasydollars.com. And then your username, that little banner link that I showed you right there. And you'll go to your capture page. You're going to put in a fake email address. It does not have to be a real one because you're only checking. And definitely, if you use a real one, don't sign up on Zazz with that, with that email because then you will get on multiple accounts. Um, once you put it in, you're going to come back to this page where it shows you um, your Zazz button, whichever Zazz button you're on. You're going to click that button. And then when you scroll down to the bottom of the page of Zazz, you're gonna see your referral number here, just like I'm seeing mine. So you will see your referral number there. Um, and just make sure that it matches um, your referral number for that site. Um, so that is the whole, whole portion of how to set up your website. If you need help with anything, um, there are several ways to get in touch with me, either through the Contact Us button on MED. You can send me a personal email or text if you have that information for me. Um, and you can also post in the Facebook group. Um, very important um, that you are active in the Facebook group and so that you can learn and see when I make updates to the website because that's where I put everything. So everybody get your website set up and then I will see you on the next video which will show you how you go about setting up your emails that you will be sending to your referrals. And I will see you on the next one and I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Bye.